Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we are going to talk about by clustering. So this is the outline. There are two main methods: spectral co-clustering and spectral by clustering that's implemented in Scikit-Learn. So the types of by clusters that are uh, there, this is one of them: constant values. So let's imagine this is a matrix. And here we have all the values are the same one. So this is just one big cluster. And before moving further, I just want to spend a minute talking about what by clusters are. Because in the previous video, we have looked at what cluster is. Cluster, uh, the uh, steps that we took in clustering process involved only looking at just the columns that is the features so uh, that gave us the dimension so if we have features a b c then those would be three dimensions and all the samples uh, there could be 100 samples or more than that and together that formed the cluster so each row with three uh, three values formed a data point so with 100 rows there would be 100 data points in a three dimensional space now with by clustering the idea is that uh, you are not only considering the columns but also the rows while performing the clustering and therefore the it is important that the the immediate question that you may have is what if the values between the columns are different then Generally, you would want that the columns uh, are could be unitless, or for example, they could be counts. And uh, there are normalization methods also used before the clustering is performed. So normalization of the matrix. So all the rows have the same constant sum. Uh, or the columns have the same constant sum, or both the rows and columns have the same constant sum. So here is one example. Then next is constant columns. So here we have the values in columns are the same, but uh, as we can see here, then there is constant rows. So in constant rows, the values within each row is constant. So the first row has value of one in all the columns and so on. Next is unusually high and low values. So here I um, created an example. We have our normal values are decimal values. And then these four values in top left and top right corner are unusually high and low, minus 10 and plus 10. So that's shown here. And likewise, uh, sub matrices with low variance. So let's say within this particular uh, matrix, there is this small part of the matrix which has low variance. So the values outside fluctuate between 0.8 to 0, whereas the values within this small region shown here in yellow fluctuate between 0.1 and 0.2 only. And there is correlated rows and columns. And so we have areas with high correlation uh, shown here by the dark uh, red squares and areas with low correlation shown here with by lighter red colors. And they, here is one example where uh, let's say this is the original true clusters. What uh, we can do is uh, shuffle these and create this particular matrix shown here in the middle and then input the shuffled matrix to the spectral co-clustering method in scikit-learn and that will output these predicted clusters which are plotted on the rightmost side so these uh, match very well with the original clusters that we would ex we would have expected from uh, the spectral co-clustering output and if you add noise to these then there could be some deviation from the two clusters. Uh, I've put a code snippet where you can play with this particular uh, matrix. And before we move on to the next uh, topic, 
just want to mention what a bipartite graph is if you do not already know let's say we have this uh, table shown here in the left where we have column c1 c2 c3 c4 and we have four rows r1 through r4 then when we are usually in previous videos when we saw that we are creating a graph where we are connecting nodes by lines there there were no two separate groups uh, but in this case there are two separate groups so what uh, one group could consist of the columns c1 through c4 and one group can contain rows r1 through r4 and so when we create a bipartite graph it could look uh, such as shown here in this figure so this is just for intuition purposes and in spectral co-clustering that bipartite graph is used as an input matrix which is shown here as a uh, which is calculated based on these relations which is r that's a diagonal diagonal matrix um, which is formed by the matrix a as shown here and c is again another diagonal matrix with entry i as shown here and so this input matrix is decomposed by performing singular value decomposition to get a final matrix z uh, which can be then used to uh, perform clustering using k-means and partitioning partitioning the graph i know this was not uh, any detailed intuition but this just to give you a brief overview that the input matrix is taken and it's a uh, singular value decomposition is performed on that and then on that output we're performing k-means to do the partitioning and the next method is spectral bi-clustering so here uh, the method assumes that the input data matrix has a hidden checkerboard structure and to get the data closer to that structure there is a normalizing step performed and there are three types of normalizations listed in the docs one is independent second one is biased stochastic and third one is log normalization so the first one the row sums are brought to a constant value and the column or the column sums are brought to a constant value whereas in bi stochastic both row and uh, column sums are brought to a constant value and the last one is not log normalization so there are a couple of steps in which you perform log transformation of the data uh, which is then used for the next steps so the next step is to compute singular vectors and then project the data using best singular vectors to finally do the clustering and for evaluation of black the output of by clustering uh, methods there is one implementation of jacquard index uh, the code for that is census underscore score and the values lie between zero and one zero being good uh, that is to say that the clusters are very well separated and one being the clusters overlap uh, completely and to get that this is the general formula used where in the numerator you have by clusters a and b so a uh, there's the number of data points that are common in both the uh, clusters so that would be at the intersection divided by this denominator term here and here is the code snippet so this is uh, input matrix so this would be the a that we saw earlier in the um, mathematical notation so if you input this uh, as to the model spectral co-clustering and we specify the number of clusters then you get the output that you can plot uh, to get the cluster so in here you can also add noise to uh, see more realistic uh, a realistic output of what the clustering algorithm would do if there is noise in the data set so that was it for this video i hope this video gave you some intuition about what bi clustering is 
and in the following video we'll continue the discussion in unsupervised learning if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next video please like share and subscribe thank you